Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a technology and business consulting company that helps organizations initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and processes. This video, along with others on our channel, should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, peer overviews, and take part in lessons we've designed to help you. We're focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Since the acquisition of Siebel in 2005 and Hyperion in 2007, Oracle has been making significant changes to both tool sets to improve the integration between both products. As both products converge over the next few years, the terms OBIEE and EPM will mostly be forgotten and replaced by the concept of Oracle Fusion Middleware entirely. The next major release of Oracle Fusion Middleware will see the complete and seamless integration of the component architecture of both products. While some of that is there now, uh, in the future we're actually going to really just see one um, one complete product that's a single install that has all the components. While BI Plus offers integration of security through EPM single sign-on and navigation between applications, it doesn't offer the same interoperability as Oracle Fusion Middleware. In Oracle Fusion Middleware, you're actually able to see a job that's in EPM and then run it in OBIE 11G. Whereas in OBIE 10, um, while, there's in, while there's integration between the, in, between the security and the common user interface in terms of navigating from workspace to the other applications, when you're in OBIE, you actually can't run uh, a job that's, in, that's actually in EPM. So that's, a, that's one of the big distic distinctions between the integration that's available in version 10 and in OBIE 11. So, if you've experienced searching for information related to support end dates, you know this is no easy task. It's important to understand these end dates due to the high level of integration within the products. Um, don't assume that the OBIE end dates or the EPM end dates are going to be interchangeable. Patch sets are communicated on a regular basis. In fact, the last patch, patch set for OBIE 10 was this past January and actually included a pretty significant update for BI Publisher JDBC connections. 